Hey kittens, Silver here with Amir the Persian Cat by Douglas Cuddle Toys. And we have a very familiar sight here. Uh, it's another package. And we're going to unbox this today, or, well, it's not really a box, but unpackage the package, I suppose you'd say. Um, so it's going to be another Douglas Cat. And it is one that I actually own already, but it's one of my favorite of their vintage cats. And it's a slightly different version from the uh, the one that I, or actually the ones that I have, because I have two of these. I've never gotten three of us of the same plush before, but um, this had to be the exception to the rule just because, well, you'll see. Uh, I'm going to open this now, and we will do a, a little uh, unboxing and maybe a little comparison afterwards. Okay, so we have... Uh, partially removed the package and I thought that was nice. There's a little thank you note that they taped to the uh, to the packaging. So let's just see if I can do this live um, or if I'm going to have to pause again to be able to get this little kitty out of here. Maybe if I have my scissors, I've <laughs> got to be careful I don't cut the fur. Okay, let's see. So this is going to be Tasha, once again, <laughs> and uh, this is going to be, there's a few different versions of Tasha, I guess, depending on what year she was released. Some have a brown flocked nose and others have a pink. I believe the one with the brown flocked nose is older. So this is going to be, there she is, a familiar sight. <laughs> I just love Tasha so much though. She has the most gorgeous eyes um, of any Douglas cat by far. Uh, so let me just move a mirror a little bit out. Okay, we don't we shouldn't need these scissors anymore. Okay, oh look at look at that beautiful face. So much different from either of the uh, the other two Tashas that I have. Um, honestly, each one is so unique and um, very distinctive from one another. So let's take a look and see how Tasha number three looks on camera now. Oh my goodness. I just love, love, love this one's face. And the eyes. Um, different versions, of again, of Tasha have slightly different variations, not just with the, uh, the nose color, but um, I think the older ones have more of a blue-green eye, uh, whereas the newer one has a, more of a light blue. I'm gonna have to do a compare though, just so we can uh, so we can get a sense of just how different they are. Uh, but some really nice airbrushing just between the eyes as well, and this one still has her little plastic whiskers intact. And there's this nice little felt material on the inside of the ear, which is kind of a very light brown color, maybe a, even a dark cream, you might say. And she feels really, really soft still. Um, the fur is in very nice condition. Um, definitely uh, no matting or anything like that. Doesn't seem like it's been um, roughly handled. So let's see if there's anything on her tag that would indicate when she was made. No, I don't think so. There's a lot of purple, uh, <laughs> a lot of purple writing on this tag. Not sure what that, uh, <laughs> what that might signify. Um, but Tasha, I believe, is a Himalayan cat. It's either Himalayan or Siamese, but I'm pretty sure she's meant to be a Himalayan. Uh, she's got these nice little dark chocolate uh, furry uh, tips on her feet um, and actually certain Tasha's actually I believe have a, a dark tail but all the ones that I have have just the light colored tail so um, once again those eyes just you can get lost in those eyes so beautiful actually let me see if I could turn her towards the light a bit so you can see them a little bit better and, uh, and finer detail. Now it's just getting blurry I think but um, you know what I'm gonna take out my other Tasha's now and see how the three stack up to one another. 
Okay, so here is the newest Tasha who we just saw. And this is my new with tags Tasha. Now you can see this one um, has the light pink nose. Um, she's very, uh, <laughs> how would you say it? Very chonky, I suppose you say. She's, she's rather thick, this Tasha. <laughs> I absolutely love her though. So you can see kind of a rounder, uh, rounder face. Um, and let's see, the eye color is definitely, there is a subtle difference between the two. So this one, like as, as I was saying before, has a little bit more of a green tinge to the eye. And this one is a little bit more just on the light blue side. I'm just trying to see, well, yeah. It actually, the, the difference doesn't look that stark on camera, but you can definitely tell in person. Um, and this one actually has a little bit of a lighter colored fur, just slightly lighter. Um, whereas this, this one is a slightly more beige. And then lastly, this was my the first Tasha here that I ever bought um, who, that was also pre-owned. She's got a little uh, collar on her right now. Um, but the nose on this particular Tasha was very, very warm. So I actually took a, a fabric marker and colored it in. And it ended, ended up coming out quite a bit darker than I was expecting. Um, so I was hoping it was going to come out more like this Tasha's color. Uh, it ended up coming coming out almost the same color as her muzzle here. But, um, but it actually kind of makes her eyes even pop more so, I thought. So I thought that was kind of a, I don't know, I thought it came out pretty well, despite the fact that it was a little darker than what I was expecting. So that is the three Tashas. And yeah, as you can see, um, even though, I mean, they're, they clearly are the same cat, they definitely all have their own um, very unique and distinctive features. Um, so yeah, and I'm, I'm just trying to see in terms of softness, um, well, obviously the new with tags one is going to be, you know, sort of a, you know, the most nicely textured out of all of them. Um, but these two, these two are pretty, pretty much this, they're all really soft. I'm not going <laughs> to, I'm not going to say that they aren't. Um, this one actually, the, the newest one might even be a little bit softer than uh, my original Tasha, just very slightly. Um... But yeah, other than that, there, you know, the coloring is all pretty much identical. Um, I almost wonder if this original Tasha was meant to be this version or that version. I think it was meant to be this version because the eye color looks more or less the same. Um, the nose had worn away almost to a pink, though, which was why uh, I wasn't entirely sure. But uh, that that is my little collection of Tashas. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed seeing my little trio of Tashas today. And I will be back with your next plush fix very soon. Bye, everybody.